If you are watching this video, then chances are you are looking for a cheap smartwatch under $100. However, you might have noticed that most cheap smartwatches have bad ratings or bad reviews from users and influencers. And sometimes advertised features just don't work on these budget smartwatches. So if you are looking for a reliable $100 smartwatch that performs really well, then I have found them for you. So without wasting any more time, Let's start with my video of the best smartwatches under $100 for men and women that you should consider. The first smartwatch under $100 in my video is from the well-known brand Amazfit. It is a well-known Chinese smartwatch brand known for making good and decent watches at good prices. And Amazfit BIP3 Pro is no different. Starting off with the basics, Amazfit BIP3 Pro features a 1.69 inch TFT touchscreen display. Also, the 240x240 resolution and 218 ppi density of the display is pretty sharp. It is not the AMOLED display used on high-end smartwatches, but it is decent enough and readable in all environments. One downside that I found while using this $100 smartwatch is that it doesn't have an always-on display. It means that I had to flick this smartwatch every time to read the time on it. This can be annoying if you are used to having smartwatches with always on display. Moving on to the smart features, I was able to sync my notifications from my phone to the watch. It came in very handy as it allowed me to read my IMs, texts and other notifications. One thing to note is that I was only able to read them and not reply to them. I also tracked my sports and fitness activities using the Amazfit BIP3 Pro. The watch comes with 60 plus sports profiles and built-in GPS to track my run without using the phone. In terms of accuracy, Amazfit BIP3 is phenomenal for the price and I found the step count and heart rate during the workout to be accurate. Speaking of the heart rate sensor, this watch features BioTracker 2.0 PPG sensor which is dated but still decent. So this watch can track your heart rate, sleep, stress and blood oxygen. All in all, built-in GPS, 60 plus sports profiles and notification sync makes this a great smartwatch under $100 for men and women. If smartwatches are not your cup of tea, then cheap hybrid smartwatches might be what you are looking for. And the best part is that they look like regular watches and still offer various smart features. The best example of that is the Withings Steel smartwatch. This cheap smartwatch, while looking like a regular watch, offers features like step and workout tracking. So I was able to track my activities and calories burned using the watch. Similarly, the little tachometer inspired subdial inside the watch tracked my progress toward my daily goal. To use the watch, you need to install the HealthMate app, which is available for both Android and iOS devices. So you will be able to use this watch regardless of the phone you have. The app also has the option to connect to my fitness file which is a great feature to have. Besides usual fitness metrics, this $100 smartwatch also tracked my sleep and various sleep cycles I went through. Moreover, I also like the fact that the watch comes with a 1.3 inch watch face which is neither too big nor too small. Similarly, this watch weighs just 33 grams which makes this one of the most comfortable watches to wear. However, it does lack some features like notification sync which is one of the main reasons some users buy smartwatches for. Similarly, it has no built-in GPS to track your outdoor activities independently without phones. The next smartwatch is the latest smartwatch under $100 launched in 2023 from Motorola. It will be perfect for those who are looking for a simple smartwatch that is easy to use and has all the basic features. Using the watch, I was able to track my steps, sleep and heart rate and I found the results to be pretty accurate given the watch is actually around $80. Another feature that is not available on most cheap smartwatches is the temperature sensor. So this watch also tracks the body temperature which can be useful to keep an eye on important vitals. Talking about the dimensions, this watch is 48.5 by 36.5 by 11 mm and weighs 48 grams. This is a pretty big smartwatch so it is not an ideal smartwatch for small wrists. Moving on to the display, Moto Watch 70 features a 1.69 inch IPS LCD display 
with 240 by 280 resolution with a pixel density of 218. The notifications on the screen were easy to read outdoors as it was clear and bright enough. A single charge lasted me 5 to 6 days on light usage and 4 days on heavy usage. Another USP of the watch is the fact that it can be charged from 0 to 100 percent in 25 minutes as well. Let me tell you that it is very impressive because the previous two watches take at least 2 hours to charge. However, not everything is perfect as this watch lacks built-in GPS, so you would need to carry your phone to track your outdoor runs. It also lacks the ability to track blood oxygen, but to be honest, that's not an important feature unless you really want it. If you want a smartwatch under $100 that makes the least compromises, then a Macefit GTS 4 Mini is perfect for you. First things first, it has the same BioTracker 3.0 sensor available on the Amazfit T-Rex 2 which is one of the best smartwatches available under $200. So it can do all the things Amazfit T-Rex 2 can do like 24x7 heart rate tracking, sleep cycle monitoring, blood oxygen and stress tracking. A new health feature that is unique to this smartwatch is female health tracking which ladies will find useful. So what's new you ask? This smartwatch comes with AMOLED display which makes it one of the best smartwatch under $100 in terms of readability. This display can do a peak brightness of 450 nits which ensures screen legibility even outdoors. Similarly, this is the only smartwatch under $100 on the list yet that has an always on display. That's why I love this smartwatch as I didn't have to flick my wrist every time I had to read the time. Also, there are plenty of watch faces available for Amazfit GTS 4 Mini on the Zep App Store. Another feature that sets it apart is the 126 Plus sports profiles available on it. Moreover, the watch also has advanced sports alerts which help me in monitoring my performance. For instance, a heart rate alert will warn me to slow down once my heart rate crosses the set limit. Moreover, Amazfit GTS 4 Mini supports 5 global navigation satellites which helped me go out on my runs without my phone. Another feature that I liked is that the smartwatch can automatically start workout tracking. So I didn't have to start tracking my runs, cycling or walks manually in case I forgot to do that. Based on my heart rate, Amazfit also awarded me a Pi score and Amazfit recommends earning a 100 Pi score every week. And based on my fitness levels or the way it improves, it will become harder for me to earn a 100 Pi score every week. If you want to know more about Pi, then I will recommend watching the What is Amazfit Pi video using the i button. This cheap smartwatch is 41.8 by 36.66 by 9.1 mm in dimension, which in my opinion makes this a decent size unisex smartwatch under $100 for men and women. If you are still not convinced, then let me tell you that this smartwatch comes with Alexa as well. Using it, you will be able to start the timer, get news, start a workout and more. If round smartwatches are your style, then Moto Watch 100 is the cheap smartwatch that is worth looking into. It is a decent smartwatch like Moto Watch 70 but features some massive improvements. For instance, this smartwatch comes with built-in GPS and always on display which is not present on Motorola Watch 70. Besides GPS, Motorola Watch 100 also supports GLONASS and Baidu navigation satellites for outdoor sports tracking. So I didn't have to drain my smartwatch's battery to track my run as it can do that independently. Besides that, another reason why I recommend the watch is the 1.2 inch LCD display which is pretty good. However, I did find the Amazfit GTS 4 Mini AMOLED display to be better than the Moto Watch's LCD display in my daily usage. Another issue that some of my colleagues at Wearholic pointed out was the notifications not syncing from their phones to Motorola. I didn't face this issue but many Samsung users are. So do keep that in mind before purchasing this smartwatch under $100. In terms of software, this smartwatch is powered by Moto OS which still seems like a work in progress. However, it gets the basics like step tracking, heart rate tracking and sleep tracking right. It can be said for all the smartwatches on the list. But Amazfit GTS 4 Mini is better in terms of overall experience, accuracy and features. Still, it is a great value for money, cheap smartwatch for men and women from a well-known brand like Motorola. Not everyone likes testing first-generation products and instead wants to rely on well-tested smartwatches. 
If you are in the same boat, then I would recommend looking at Garmin Venue SQ. In my list, this is without a doubt the best smartwatch under $100 that you can buy. Let me tell you why first. This smartwatch comes with a body battery feature that predicts your energy level based on heart rate, stress and sleep data. Using this data, I found a pattern and created a schedule to do exercise at my peak energy levels. It prevented me from pushing unnecessarily if I didn't have a good night's sleep or still recovering my energy if I worked out extensively yesterday. Another advanced feature available on the watch is Garmin Coach, which helps you in training and prepare for the marathon if you are a beginner. The best part is that this feature adapts and changes according to my fitness level. So if you are not a professional athlete, don't worry, the watch will make adjustments based on your performance. This $100 Garmin smartwatch comes with 20 plus sports profiles which are less, but Garmin has provided the option to create a new profile on Garmin Venue SQ. Using it, I was able to create a dedicated sports profile for badminton in this Garmin smartwatch. So you will be able to track whatever profile or metric you want using this watch. I have written an extensive blog showcasing step by step process and I will link for the same in the description box. Another useful feature that I found while using the watch is the incident detection feature on the watch. What it basically does is alert loved ones of your live location if you fall or meet with an accident while doing outdoor activities. This is also a feature that ladies might find helpful during an emergency as it can be triggered manually. After that, the watch will share the location in real time with your designated emergency contacts. During my usage, I found that this smartwatch offers the best app support out of all the $100 smartwatches available on the list. So if that's a priority for you, then I will recommend this cheap smartwatch from Garmin. So guys, those were the 6 best smartwatches under $100 that you can buy for yourself. Do you agree with my video or do you think there should have been any other smartwatch on the list? Leave the watch you recommend in the comment below. With that, it's time to say goodbye. Don't forget to press that like and subscribe button before you leave. See you next time.